Hello, good evening. Chris Hughes from Rebound here. As the shirt says, as it says, be uh, information on the tin. We got the All Stars here. So, be the All Star draft. This this one's about the men, and it's two great guests. So, my captains, Jordan Reno from Bradford Dragons, Taylor Johnson from Hamble Storm. Well, to show you guys, I'm looking forward to seeing who you guys pick in. Hope you're both well. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, I appreciate it. Good to be here. Yeah. Both you guys made clear sense for me to have you guys as captains. Taylor returning captain. MVP for the weekend. Let's quickly recap that. What was that game like to play for yourself? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the the venue at Surrey was good and um, fans from Himmel and Worthing traveled. So it was a, it was a great atmosphere for a uh, final. Yeah. It was, I believe, I was a court side. I was deafened by both Hemel and the Worthing fans. And it was um, really hard to ignore. Every time you got a bucket, you were shushing. Can you go a bit into that? What was that all about? Was that sort of just to get under the Worthing skin or was there a bit more to it? Uh, well, I guess there was, uh, you know, last time we played them and just uh, all season, there was a little bit more chat um, that I was hearing. So... I guess that's uh that's as much as I guess I want to say about it. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing too uh, nothing too uh, menacing or um, you know. It's great to see your side to that one too. It was a good watch. It was a good watch. It was a good watch, Taylor for sure, definitely. It was right. a good watch. Yeah. Yeah, it does seem Taylor does put on the show, and it's a big game. So the last season's MVP of thirty six points. You definitely like playing 30 points. I know you had your family down. You put on the show on the South Coast with another big performance. And talking about big performances, Jordan Reed and man, you've been a great addition to that Bradford Dragon side. I think you're currently eighth with a, a point five hundred record. Big game of Derby this weekend. What's it been like for you transitioning to the NBL? Yeah, it's been good. It's been in different, very different. Um but yeah, just tried to kind of like just fit in where I could with Bradford, kind of like take take a bit of a lead. And, you know, we've got a few young guys on the team. Um, but at the same time, we've also got a few, you know, a couple of veterans on the team with, with Schultz and Fetsky. Um, so we got quite a nice balance and it was it was cool for me to kind of just 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 slot in and, and do my best to, to to try and elevate elevate the team and, and put us in a playoff position. That was that's probably our goal from from the start of the season. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, obviously it's not done yet. We've got three games left and and I know you've seen that there's the state of the NBL table anything could happen I think um with with the difference in points between it so yeah we'll see hopefully get a good um a good win win or two wins this this weekend we've got Derby away and Essex at home so we're, yeah we're gonna go for it and um you know I speak to Dave Walsh at the start of the season he said that's big things you guys have delivered and you're not the only one from Bradford we've got um Justin Williams, what's it been like playing with him? And what are some of his strengths? What can we look forward to seeing at the All Stars? Yeah, honestly, having Justin come in was a bit, a bit of a blessing for me, man. Because I know some of some of these guys, and maybe Taylor will tell you now. Maybe I needed some help, kind of bringing the ball up the floor, and and that's what kind of Justin, um, Justin has brought. He's he's brought a different like kind of level of control. Um, obviously, another another offensive option for our team, um, and he also brings a lot of defense as well. He's he's quite quick and active and, and quick hands. So um, yeah, it's definitely been been yeah just yeah amazing having having him on board. And Taylor, of course, going twenty three and in the NBL season. There's going to be a few Pebble players in the All Stars for sure. I know it's a shame we can't have Seth and Aaron for their mm. other commitments, but we've also got Sam and Hakeem. I often feel Sam is a little bit underrated when we talk about the guards in the league because he brings a lot to the game, but maybe isn't always seen in the box stats. How does he like playing with him this season? Great. Yeah, I mean, I, I played with him last year and it was great last year as well. I always thought uh, he was talented and um, and I think people recognize that he has like vision on the court and he can pass the ball and uh, he still gets to do a lot of that. But I think... He, Maybe sometimes people don't see that. Also, he is um, uh, a pretty good scorer. He, he's a skilled scorer. Um, but he, on our team, at least, uh, a lot of the times, um, there's some other guys that we put up a lot more of the shot attempts. So sometimes, I guess, he maybe doesn't get recognized for, for that part of his game. And 
Um, I mean, he's an, he's an awesome ultimate teammate about it and is, is always just happy to do like, you know, what's needed to win, whether that's, you know, get 12, 15 assists, or sometimes he does end up, you know, scoring the ball for us. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been enjoyable to play with everyone on the team. Yeah. And I say he had a really great game in the, in the, in the final. He contributed eight assists as well as a bucket, loads of points too. And you also got Silla, who you know from your time at TBC. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, from across the board, for guys watching, if you aren't aware, obviously, Jordan Whelan, Taylor Johnson, are captains. Um, we've got Raheem May Thompson, Chase Harrison from Derby. As I said, we've got Sam Newman and Hakeem Silla from uh, Hemel. I mean, from wherever we've got a, a massive contingency, again, like Taylor's Hamill and Derby, wherever we want to stand out teams, we've got Ronald Blade, Hafif, uh, Abdul, uh, all the Jackman, Audrey Arasol, and then Solos, Kai Waters in the mix, alongside Loughborough's Elijah Bailey, Manchester's Audrey Dale, and like how they've got Victor Olderwerin, and Reading Rockets, both um, Troy Tracknell and Shamaya Jenkins are in the draft. Really excited this season. We invited all the NBL D1 coaches to submit their choices from five guards and five fours from across the league. And we had a really good intake. That was the first time we've done it this way. And we actually had 22 unique choices. However, after having some players who couldn't go up but later below those players, we decided it was probably really good to have a 10 man roster. It means everyone gets some really good minutes. We have two players that are maybe that aren't in there. If they do come up, we will let them in part of the draft. They're waiting for tier confirmation. But I thought we'd stick with these 20. If they see the play, we'll discuss the chapters who they want on which team. Right. Before we start there, I thought we'd, if we were in England, traditional thing is football. If it's difficult to see who takes the first pick, I didn't want to mess up on shows we did before I recorded. Rent plan was fine. Ted Johnson pulled heads, and heads it was. We had the uh, Queen Elizabeth McCoy, not a uh, King Charles one still with old money. Ted Johnson chose to pick first. So, Ted Johnson, without any further ado, here is uh, your first draft pick for this Rebound All Stars 2023 men's team. So, my first pick is going to be uh, someone that I played a lot with. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a big man. It's going to be Hakeem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was your first pick last time. You yeah, know, people you know, Jordan. I can't lie. I was, I was, I was shooting, was shooting for, I was shooting for the big man myself. First pick. Um, oh man, yeah. I try. I was gonna try and steal him, but you know, I see you got a little connection going on, bro. Yeah. All right, my next one. Um, my first pick's probably gonna be a guy I've grown up playing with, uh, under 16s national team, under 18s national team. Um, the big man. From Nottingham, Josh Gademi. Uh, I'm gonna. I got a big man, someone I played with, and I think you guys may know my next pick is also gonna be someone I played a fair bit with the last couple of years. Um, I need another guard, so I'm gonna go with Sam. Okay, it's just, they're just putting the squad together. They're gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's kind of hard for me to go against them. choosing my guys. Yeah. I'm gonna be hearing no. set. I'm gonna be hearing sets and calls and all sorts. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah. All right, my second pick. I'm gonna go with somebody else from a similar region as Josh. Um, seeing as we're trying to get, you know, going with players that we got good connections with. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with Raheem May Thompson. Ah, uh, too big, man. I, I did have I did have Raheem. Hope I was hoping for Raheem as well for yeah, yeah. some some another inside presence, a big man is capable uh on offense. Uh but I think I'm gonna go with um I think my next pick, I'm gonna go with Andre Aerosol, another guard, uh recent opponent, but I think you know I'll still have to go with him for the all-star game. Yeah. yeah, Andre played amazing in the kitchen trophy. It was a real fall in your defense. I think that's a really good pick there. Jordan, you're up. Who are you picking to counter that threat? My next pick. Um, I think I'm going to continue on trend. I'm going to back my guy, Justin Williams. Mm. And Taylor, who, who are you picking next? Uh, next, I, I will go with... 
I'll go with another. I'll go with another Worthing guy. Um, I'm gonna go with Hafiz. Hafiz. I say Hafiz did actually play for you guys last season, didn't he? But you you go for super teams here, Taylor. You know, it's like <laughs> you don't have so many at Hamill, now you're trying to pick the Worthing guys too. It's a, Paul Jordan, is, I say, it's still enough talent in the league. We're saying the league is very competitive, not just a Worthing and Hamill uh, conversation. Oh, no, I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling good right now. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, I grew up playing with this guy uh, in Manchester. Um, you know, we go 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 way, way, way back. Um, and he's been shooting the lights out this year, so I'm going to mm-hmm. go with uh, Andre Gale. Nice. Yeah. Uh, a little uh, exclusive. Andre, one of the guys taking part in the three-point shooting contest, as Sean said, having an amazing shoot season. Really excited for us to be... Uh, Hitting the men against the women in three point shooting. I think Sire Taylor won it last year. I think Andre Gale might be one of the pre game favourites. Taylor, who's your next pick? Next pick. Um, let's see here. My next pick, I am going to go with. Uh, I will take. Uh, and I'll take a new guy to the league who's been playing really well this year. Um, this is impressed, or he's played really well against us um, a few times. Um, I'm going to go with Elijah Bailey. Tough, tough. Yeah, that's going to be one of the spearheads. That really did form sort of January, February time, and they put themselves in contention in the playoffs, and so we should see whether they get the final eight, but Elijah Bailey was one of many of their players, so will we be the catalyst if that is to happen? Jordan, you're up next. I see you've got your thinking cap on. Yeah, I've been having a good think, but you know what? The next one's pretty clear to me. I'm gonna go with another guy that another guy that I, I kind of know and I've played with before. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. He's teammates with Raheem. Um, Jace Harrison, another tall guard, lefty. Shoots the ball well. Um, smart player. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, Chase, two-time All-Star. I was part of that young Barty Nappy slash London Lions squad that sort of sat in for the London Lions in the BBL Cup a couple of years back. So they had COVID and they actually beat Surrey. So that was a big game for them. And he's doing well, Derby. Maybe a bit like Sam, sort of underrated, but again, not to be slept on. And on that note, Taylor, is your pick for the next one. Mm-hmm. Cool. Can we? Could you just read out which names are still on the list? Oh, of course. I think that's a really good point. At that almost halfway stage. So we've got um, Ronald Blaine, Orland Jackman from Worthing. We've got Jordan May from Newcastle, Seth Hall from Nottingham, Kai Walker from Solo Victor Lewerin from TVC, and Jemiah Jenkins and Troy Cracknell from Reading. I believe that is the. Uh, Remaining guys picked on say talented pool. Okay. Um I think uh I think I'll go I'll I'll go with uh if we're going themed here, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the theme of uh Himmel and Worthing and I'll go for I think I'll take one more big guy and I'll go for did you say Orlin was still on the board? He's still on the board, the gold medalist. Yeah, so I'll take I'll take Oral and the gold medalist. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. OJ, freshly squeezed, pure shooter, smooth with it as well. Chess yeah, pieces come together. Yeah, you beat me to Orlan. Beat me to Orlan for sure. Um time to switch up then, I guess. Um <laughs> yeah, these guys are tough too, by the way. Yeah. Like, these are tough, like super tough. So I'm I'm kind of stuck between two guys here, two new guys I've seen this season. I think I play really well. Uh, and I've been impressed with uh, massively. Um, I'm gonna go with Troy Cracknell from Reading. Yeah, Troy's light up the lead. If the uh, two Dartmouth boys weren't playing so well, I definitely think Troy Cracknell would be the MVP conversation. There's a uh, multiple player of the week and really great guards and just a bit of everything. Hey, I think I know where your next pick's going to go, but I'll wait till you announce that one. 
Uh, yeah, if we're gonna, uh, I've got some bigs, but I, but I did say I might, might have to stick with the theme. Um, the only reason maybe I didn't pick him sooner, I will, I will stick with the theme, but the only reason I didn't pick him sooner, I think is, uh, because yesterday in our game, I think he might've, or not yesterday, but this past weekend on the Saturday, uh, might've taken a little injury. So, um, Otherwise, I think I might have picked him sooner, but I'll go with uh, I'll go with Ronald. I mean, if you're saying that game was yesterday, I'd imagine you guys are parking yeah. quite hard. <laughs> day, but you're yeah. saying it was yesterday. Yeah, not yeah. yesterday. Yeah, still hats tired from the game. Sorry, hats off to all the blame. Like that display thing that looked nasty, and credit to him, he kept it PG when you could tell he was an obvious pain, and all that was trying to get it right for him, and I think. And a bit of nursing tape, and he was good to go. But yeah, it was a last injury. We have to see how he gets on. I think he's recovering now. Send his best wishes. Him and well, a really good fight against Jordan Hebel. It was great spectacle for both teams. But as I said, Jordan, it's not just about those two teams. There's a lot of talent here. Who's your next pick? My next pick. I'm actually not sure who. If there's any, is there any big men left on that on that list? He's no, like, it's, it's guard heavy. It's, it's guard heavy. Heavy guard. It's the... Pretty heavy guard. Yeah, this guy, well, I was going to pick him last last pick. It was, I was, that's the guy I was stuck between um, with Troy. Um, Jordan May. Jordan May, yeah. He's, he, he went crazy against us, um, shooting the lights out. He's got a quick release. Um, yeah, I've been impressed with him so far. He's a, it's Newcastle, right? Yeah, Newcastle. Without even intended, it looks a bit like a North versus South All Stars at the moment, guys. You know, <laughs> if, uh, Elijah left for uh, not really South, but South inverted commas. Um, Taylor, shoot your next shot. Next shot, uh, I'm going to go with a shooter. I'm going to get back to the guards. And he definitely shot the ball well against us at the start of the season. Uh, couldn't miss. Wasn't even touching the rim, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to go with Seth Hall. Um, I'm going to go with... That was a tough three. Any, like I said, it could have been any order with these guys, man. They're all tough. Um, I'm going to go with... Good athlete, played against us, well against us at the weekend. Um yeah, great player. I'm gonna go with with Vic. I'm gonna go with with, with Victor. I, I wonder whether Asif was on the text and saying the always ball in ambassadors have to play for the same team. It's a <laughs> nice record always ball in who done a great job with uh, the official tee and yeah. the official uh, jersey associated with what tee for the guys on Jordan's team and uh, wearing the other one for the ladies show, which we'll record is shortly. Right, last pick, guys, and like John was saying, great quality players like Kyle Walker or Jemiah Jenkins. Who are you going for, Taylor? Uh, I'm going to go for, if my memory serves me correct, this person won the dunk contest last year at the event. So I'm going with Kai Walker. Yeah, dunk contest champion. Did a, an okay to good job of guarding you when you guys met on the South Coast, um, but has retired from the dunk contest this year. He will be on the, the judges with a lot of talent. Jordan, I guess that leaves you Jemiah Jenkins, but I think you've met, you, as you already said, it's such a talented roster. So, what are your thoughts on your team you picked today? So, that's uh, yourself, Raheem May Thompson. Jordan May, Josh Kademi, Justin Williams, Andre Gale, Gale, sorry, Troy Cracknell, and Jemiah Jenkins. Yeah, we're ready, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Definitely, definitely, should be good. And Taylor, you know, yeah, a bit of a hell worm with mixed with uh, Seth or Lige Bailey, Kyle Walker added to that. How do you think they get the best of all those players? There's a lot of talent in both teams. Are you, you excited to sort of? mesh those guys up yeah i think i i'm excited yeah i'm excited about the team i i wasn't uh i didn't have it in my mind that i was gonna pick the whole uh worthing team but it just worked out that way um so i'm not gonna no no uh hard feelings there for held on to from the competition um 
previously. But uh, yeah, I think by then the season will be over. We're gonna we'll find a way to make it work. It'll all be good. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about the event. I think that's what was great for me at the event last year. It was having, especially with the COVID virus that had been hampering the league and the country for two a good two years. That rivalry between friends and everyone was talking. It was such a great experience. And change. I really appreciate both taking on your roles as captain, Taylor, obviously two time captain Jordan. Jordan, what are you looking forward to your your first event at the All Stars? First, first things first, Taylor's made it really easy for my team to watch film. Like, it's going to be so easy. Two teams. <laughs> so, Worthing and, Worthing and Hamill, man. My guys are going to be, you know, we're going to know all the Worthing sets, all the Hamill sets. <laughs> we'll, we'll be good. <laughs> we'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it's my, it's my first one. So um, I, I, watched, I watched last year's and it just looked like, you know, you guys competed and had, had a good time with it as well. And that's like, that's the spirit of the whole event um so i think it's yeah it's good for british basketball it's like i said it's going to be good for the fans hopefully we'll make it entertaining make lots of you know cool plays so um yeah yeah excited and taylor so, you know we're running the back at so i just felt the logistics why it was an easy pick to go right back i think next year we're going to look at maybe uh, a manchester or uh, a bourbon related venue some a bit more in the middle but there was a lot of um Part of support that feeling. What thing I really liked was there was a lot of Hamill guys supporting you. What did it mean to have those guys there cheering you on on the day? Yeah, really. It was just, I mean, like you said, you, the, the spirit of the whole event is to, you know, yeah, play, have fun. It's a little bit different, I think, than you know, in season. I think, you know, in season, you know, that's a little bit more serious, a little bit more focused. Not that you know, once we start playing, that it it might not get serious, but uh, but just that you know, everyone's having a good time. You're getting to see everyone, you know, outside of a, you know, a little bit different environment. Um, that's a little bit more, you know, uh, lighthearted, if you will. So, uh, and yeah, last year having all the guys from Himmel come down, and we made a little trip out of it. Uh, that was really cool. And we had, we had lots of fun. Um, yeah, a little bit bummed that a couple of the guys won't be able to make it this year, but it seems like there's a great group and uh, I'm expecting it to be just as fun. Yeah. Well, you mean yeah. you mean you wanted more Hamill players? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, or at least, I, I mean, at least I wish there was more that were able to come down to the event, whether or not oh. they're or not. I mean, oh, so this okay, year, okay. some of them will be leaving. Some of my some of my teammates will be leaving before we even have the event. They'll be going back uh, stateside. Um, they've got other, you know, they've got other um, commitments. So. Um, <laughs> But still, I'm looking forward to it the same way, yeah. But if, yeah, if if you'll let me, yeah, I'll take more with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to see about that. I'm, I'm sure if there's any places leading, Taylor Johnson will be DMing me to uh, get some guys back on the plane, back in the UK, if they can make it. But I know, I do our commitments, you know, what's really great at this level is there's so many hard-work individuals that on and off court really influence stuff. And I know... Both of you guys work hard on a lot of I really appreciate you getting involved because this is above and beyond what you're doing. It's, it is independent league. We're running affiliated with B and it's great to have the synergy and support from the league and the, the organisations and also the fans. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's really supported this event. First one was special. So many people have said, and let's make it special again. Thank you both for coming on. I know you've got evening plans and come in to sort of get this recorded so we can get out and get get the word out um i wish you all the best for the season got playoffs let's focus on that first but once that's all done we can get back to looking forward to the all-stars stay safe folks and it'd be great having you both on the show i appreciate it yeah awesome thank you yeah i'm looking forward to it and that's good night for myself jordan Reed and ted johnson stay safe everyone and we'll see you on the sunday 7th of may down on the south coast, over sunny, warm, be a great event. We'll have an after party with players of Cuban Revolution, Southampton. Obviously, you guys, be sure to come to the event and also any other things happening outside of it. And finally, take care. We'll see you all soon. Not long now to 7th of May. Good night. Take care. <laughs>